Thank you, Avi. And this is a, a good opportunity to mention that um, Capital Nature is our full partners on this competition, and they have made it the success that it is. And this has been a very interesting overview of what we're seeing now in clean tech. Um, those of you who have uh, witnessed uh, John Doerr's uh, talk on TED of 2007 uh, probably remember that his daughter is, tells him that it's us that created the problem, the problems that the world is now encountering, and it's us that will have to solve them. And indeed, it is our responsibility. However, you are the good guys, so uh, you're doing the right thing. Uh, Avi related to the Valley of Death, and indeed, on the second part of the program today, we will uh, relate to this problem of uh, funding the later stage companies, especially in clean technology. Um, um, this is also a good opportunity to thank uh, the other sponsors of this program, in particular Autodesk, RWE, the P Porter School of Environmental Studies, and the Israel Export Institute. Well, the best way to predict the future is to create it. We are now about to move to the very interesting companies who have reached the finals of this event. And I would like to start with Acceptor A. Come all the way here, and all I get is five minutes. God. Um, my name is uh, Amir Trifman, and I'm the uh, founder of Acceptoray. Can you hear me now? Yeah, sure. Is this the one? Yeah. No. That's the one. Okay. Uh, I go back. Um, so, uh, what are we doing? Okay. Uh, Acceptoray was actually uh, founded some three years ago uh, by myself uh, and two other entrepreneurs. Uh, we actually increase uh, the uh, energy efficiency in the most common and highest energy consumption step in the food uh, and beverage processing, and that's uh, pasteurization. Uh, for whom of you who doesn't know, um, almost every, uh, every product that we eat, consume, uh, especially uh, uh, liquids, has to go uh, pasteurization. Uh, pasteurization is actually the process whereby we uh, eliminate bacteria and uh, inactivate bacteria. Um, beverage industry is just one uh, good example. Uh, we're talking about billions uh, or hundreds of billions of gallons that are processed every year. And uh, thermal pasteurization, which is the uh, system that is used today, is the method that's used today, is actually uh, accounting for uh, the biggest uh, energy cost of uh, any food processing plant, whether it be a beverage plant or whatever. Um, and this cost may amount to uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, every year. Um, Okay, the solution uh, that we came up with is uh, called the Acepto Illumination, and the product is Acepto Ray. And uh, in fact, that's uh, an innovative breakthrough technology that enables UV disinfection of turbide liquids. The reason I emphasize the turbide is because we have a lot of uh, uses of UV technology in transparent liquids like water, but when it comes to uh, uh, turbide liquids that are not clear, the penetration of the uh, Radiation is, 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 is not going well. And what we actually developed is the acceptor ray. Uh, and the acceptor ray is actually um, a machine that, uh, or, or a system that will actually get an inflow of, uh, of liquid. It could be beverage, juice, beer, whatever. Uh, and uh, this will be uh, going through, in a, um, through the, uh, a chamber, which is a reactor chamber, what we call it. Uh, irradiated and uh, actually getting out of the uh, of the process when all the bacteria molds uh, and and all other organisms are all inactivated. Um, one of the interesting things that we do is not only the reactor chamber, which is a, a very interesting uh, development, uh, 
uh, and, and breakthrough uh, technology, uh, is that we develop a mathematical model that actually calculates the exact dosage that we want to, uh, uh, to irradiate the product, not to overdose, not to over, uh, uh, invest too much energy into the product. Uh, so clearer products will get less energy than, than liquids that are more turbine. Uh, so we save energy, uh, we, we reach up to 73% uh, less energy and we improve the quality because we don't damage the product, we don't heat it and we don't have to cool it afterwards. Uh, so all the goodness of the products are, are still there. Um, so again, talking about the, the, the energy and the, the, we can save hundreds of thousand dollars for, for plants that actually process uh, process edible liquids. Um, again, and, and, and the outcome, the product, the end product is a much better product because we don't kill the ingredients. We don't kill, the, kill the, uh, or, or exterminate the vitamins and so on. Um, the system kill, uh, actually quite similar to uh, thermal pasteurization, almost all uh, micro, uh, microorganisms that we want to kill. Um, it can be used in, in quite a large variety of, of sectors of, uh, of food applications. Uh, we now run a currently uh, a pilot uh, in Coca-Cola. Uh, we are actually uh, pasteurizing the syrup pre-mixing uh, pre and uh, uh, filling. Uh, that's a very interesting pilot. We have a pending sale uh, that will be carried out if uh, all goes well with pilot. Uh, we have another pilot running with Carlsberg uh, for uh, processed water and another pilot that uh, just was completed with Galam for the uh, treatment of fructose and uh, glucose. Uh, so in brief, our vision is uh, actually to provide eco-friendly alternative to pasteurization. Um, my five minutes are off, so thank you very much for listening. Shana Tova, Happy New Year, and uh, thank you. Five minutes for questions? Okay. Any questions? Are there any side effects? Uh, you may die, uh, but except this, this is the only one. Yeah. Uh, Can you repeat the question from the The gentleman asked if there are any side effects. Uh, basically, no, because uh, what the UV radiation in 250 nanometers, which is the length of the ray, uh, it's actually killing the, uh, or, or damaging the DNA of the organism and does not affect uh, the product itself. So you have dead body of microorganism in pasteurization anyway, and basically there's no harm that can be done to the product itself. So what is your first target segment? Is Coca-Cola representative of the segment? Yes, indeed. Uh, the beverage uh, industry is a, is a massive uh, industry. Uh, it's there open for uh, new uh, products, new technology, um, easy to, uh, for us anyways to uh, approach. Um, yeah, and, and they're willing uh, to consider uh, cost reduction that are associated with green energy and so on. Uh, they want to become, or appear anyway, uh, you know, green and stuff. So it's, uh, yes. Okay, so, so uh, well, the USP is, is, at the end of the day, I think uh, we, we are coming with the energy, uh, energy saving or efficiency, and actually the quality is a bonus. Uh, but uh, definitely you're right. I mean, uh, someone who uh, wants to introduce a new technology to his plant, uh, I mean, he's very happy with the uh, improved quality. Um, just imagine that you'd have a, a drink or a beverage, uh, a fresh juice that is not pasteurized, the taste and the ingredients are, are there. That's, that's exactly what you want. Anyone else? Uh, okay, so the business, okay, the, the, the question was about the, or what is uh, the business model of the, of the uh, uh, so it's actually uh, divided to the sale of the capital uh, equipment, but then again, there's a service agreement uh, that uh, will actually uh, go for at least 10 years with the customer for the, uh, actually for taking care of the, uh, there are special bulbs there and special pipes that are in, in the uh, reactor chamber itself. So that's actually, uh, there is a, a monthly uh, cost that is involved in running the system. 
Yes, sir. Um, there are a lot of companies uh, in the world that do uh, UV treatment of uh, clear products like water. And these companies cannot do turbide liquids. Uh, Atlantium is probably what you meant. Uh, they're a world leader in treating water. A transparent liquid, a very simple bulb that actually radiates the water. But when it comes to a, a turbide liquid, uh, the, the ray cannot penetrate, and that's what we developed. We developed a reactor chamber that can actually expose the material uh, fully for the radiation. Uh, we are scaling it up now. That's uh, what we're doing. Yes, please. Sorry? Uh, I sold the kidney, and uh, I've got another one. I just very attached to the other side. Uh, we uh, we did it from our own own funds. Yeah, but we are looking. If anyone brought his uh, checkbooks with him, looking for money. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Anyone else or? Thanks.